Right now, voters in Green Country are going to the polls for Election Day. Locust Grove residents are deciding whether to pass the district's largest bond package ever. 10 News reporter Liz Bryant shows how the district plans to put the money to use. Well, right now, Locust Grove Public Schools has six of these domes for its arena and early learning center. And now the superintendent wants another dome to replace this high school. This is the only high school in Locust Grove, a staple here nearly 50 years. Well, I went to school there. I'm but Susan Qualls says this building is in much worse condition now with her daughter, a sophomore, inside. There's birds up in the ceiling. Anytime it rains, it leaks real bad. She's walking in to vote here for a new high school. Of course, I'm voting for it. But not everyone's mind is made up. I haven't decided yet. Terry Cooper tells me there's a need for a new high school, but the timing is not right. If it doesn't pass, it'll be because of the administration. It won't be because of because of uh, the people not caring about the kids. Right now, these voters are deciding on the most expensive package in the school's history, totaling more than $9.7 million. $6.5 million brings in domes like these for a new high school, $300,000 for four new buses and two new vans, and then nearly $3 million for interest over 14 years. The size of each dome is, is based on how many classrooms. Superintendent Dr. David Cash takes us into this dome already in the district. He says these proposed bonds wouldn't increase taxes because it's an extension of a 2007 bond. Dr. Cash prefers domes because it's $40 cheaper a square foot than a regular building. It cuts the utility bill in half and is tornado proof. Our tornado drill is keep on teaching. <laughs> And the superintendent tells me eventually he wants to replace all the school sites with one of these domes. In Locust Grove, I'm Liz Bryant. Two News works for you.